look at my projects watch this is a b now today i'm gonna ask some questions who is safe and where is safe what am i talking about after reading the very tragic story surrounding two sisters who lost their life in as you can imagine gruesome circumstances this i mega ask this question because we understand that the culture is strong you know the, the badness culture the love badness the love bad man right you know we understand it's strong but let me ask people in jamaica something who is safe and where is safe you see the two ladies them lost their life in a place in a spring village St. catherine now anybody know that area no say that place used to be quiet like a mouse so much so that the residents them come out and I say them shock. So them can't believe that something like that did happen in a them place. Let me tell you this right now. People of Jamaica. The idea you have in your head so your area is safe. Where you would safe, nothing can happen to you. It's complete unicorn need. Them days they done. Them so forget about the location. There's no such thing as a place where, you know, well, everything good, we are right, no. I want to think about this for a second. These ladies, 72 year old Lola Lewis, lady is disabled, physically challenged. Our sister, 69 year old Christine Lewis, retired teacher and a JP. I'm asking who is safe? When people say you're a big woman for me, this is what they mean. At 69 and 72, that's big woman for you. Me a big man, I'm here to tell you, if a woman was 69 and 72 tell me something, even if me and I say eye to eye, me and I not too much long talking. Right? At that age, you don't even bother getting in a big debate and argument. You just say, alright, mommy and call today. Big woman, that. 69 and 72 disabled one disabled other one is a retired teacher and a JP so age couldn't save them being disabled couldn't save them being an ex-teacher who probably right, see how much Pitney grew up under her hand couldn't save her being a JP couldn't save her. Remember one time, 87's in a run joke with JP. People here say are JP, then no one go nowhere near you. That couldn't save her. The man named cut the woman named Trude. And they were in that house for days. So much so that at the smell, residents them start to take the smell. And at that make them start go look for her. I will look for them and find lady them. Now of course, you know, all kind of theories start coming up already. People have said one of them had a son with a friend behind bars, you know, and enemies them are say look like him will give police information and all kind of theories. The reason why I don't want to spend too much time on that, because sometimes these things happen and people get caught up in a day, you know, me and Sada bad man are doing a me and Sada. Focus on the bigger picture. The bigger picture that in current Jamaica, old people can't even pass away peacefully again. In current Jamaica, you cannot reach pension age and then just no say I go just leave it out until the sickness takes you away. Them days they're gone. I want them to focus on the big picture. One time when they make it to 60, a smooth sailing onwards. I must see one car go lick you down or you brace yourself for you the sugar go take you or the bigger sea go take you or something like that. The bad not expect. So don't get them through it. Slash at 69 and 72. So who is safe? Again, these are women. How much things in one list? 
You see, we understand say men are disposable. The body is a bona man. Man they like fly. So it go, move on. But you would think. Right? You would think that not just the woman but big woman. Might somehow be spared the madness. Remember the story of the 80 year old woman and the two little girl them? Me know Jamaica probably forget about that because so much things happen in Jamaica and so fast, right? At everything on 3D story. But you see that case with the 82 year old woman, I think she was about 82, right? And the two little girl them. Why that case was extraordinary is because it showed woman from two different ends of the spectrum. We had the very young female and we had females and we had very old female. Two groups that used to be protected in Jamaica. Two groups at one time even the body's 87 would have left alone, generally speaking. But the man them run down look a girl, take her life. Put 80 of the old woman on her knee and take her life. One people from Jamaica if you understand something. If me have to say it one million times until you get it, I saw it after go. If you don't want to hear it, then go somewhere else. Don't wait until crime turn up on your doorstep. Don't wait until a year 69 year old granny. Don't wait until a year 72 year old granny or 80 year old granny or your 6 year old or 3 year old little girl. Don't wait. I tell you already that this double double thing with Jamaicans love. Right? Them claim say they want the crime to stop them. Claim say they against badness but them actions say otherwise when they look who them rate and who them follow back it's otherwise make up on the mind. Pick a side and stay there because we are going through turbulent times. I don't want to play booty. I don't want to enjoy all the fun and excitement that come with the death and the destruction in the streets. But then, we don't see it in a real life. Meaning, you turn up at your doorstep. Then, you look on the internet and say, Anybody have any information? Can I help this? Anybody have any information? When they say when they hit in farmer, but if your granny lose fear alive, you are say anybody have any information can help solve the case, f- f- help get, um, get my granny some justice. But you hit in farmer, why would anybody come forward? People need to make up their mind. A reason, my reason, you know, all well thinking Jamaicans. The Clansman trial, C4. As I say, it, me, it sparked the hope in me again. Right? It sparked the hope in me, but understand, this will take a collective effort from all Jamaicans. All well thinking Jamaicans, whether they're a yard or a bribe. When enough people love them country, I want to drop back a yard to do this and do this. Right? When enough people live in Jamaica, they don't really want to live, but things like it spooky, so they must say, no, what? I have to go do what's best for me and the family, so I have to go live. I want to understand, say. When you see stories like this, take it as a signal. Take it as a signal that this is not no more case of things are get bad. Things don't go on bad. 69 and 72. You think I'm gonna spear you think I'm gonna spear you? You think I'm gonna spear your friend then? When you are 25 to 32, right? 41 and think no matter business about you. If you don't have it in your heart to spear a woman who is disabled, 72. If you don't have it in your heart to spear a JP at 69, would have signed the most documents for help. And what if, if you don't have it in your heart, if a, if, if a man can't look upon two women, then they just call it two of them in the 70s. And say, you know what? Let them live. If them can't do that, imagine what I'm going to do to you. Dangerous times. Let me say, pick a side and stay there. Too much boaty thing I want.
Sometimes you have to reason. Sometimes you know the video, they might say, yo, you know, him go over your son and they run on them and they shot them. Like, but sometimes you have to reason. As Jamaicans, come know enough people still out there in country. You have to reason. This thing, them type of story, or them type of story really bring it home to me, sir. Playtime over a long time. These stories are unprecedented one time, unless we talk about mental illness. This fourth generation of 87s, desperately wicked. I'm not saying being wicked is new to human beings, or new to, but we are talking about the sheer scale and the number and the volume. Right? It, we can't even keep up. Anyway, Patreon squad do for himself. Yeah, you don't know more life. Ultra squad, stay circling. Bless.